Hey guys, it's so good to be back. I feel like it's been forever since I posted my last video, which it's only been three weeks, but I know in YouTube time, that's a really long time. So I'm glad to be back. I really missed you guys. All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna take you out to the carport and we're gonna do a couple of terrariums. And these are really cool to sort of spice up your decor and you know, you can add it to like your vanity top or a coffee table or a bookshelf, um, even like your desk. There's just so many different little places that you can put these cute little terrariums. And we're gonna do two different styles. So we'll do one with um, some sort of succulent. I have a few different succulents to choose from. And then we'll do one with like a Talanzia air plant. So it'll give you a couple different, you know, options and ideas. All right, let's go ahead and head out and we will get started with our DIY terrariums. <music> For our succulent terrarium, I'm going to use this geometric container. I found this at the grocery store in the florist department. Now let's start adding in our layers to our terrarium. So we need a layer for freshness, which is going to be the base layer. So you can use activated carbon pellets or activated charcoal. Either way, you can find these at most pet stores in the aquarium section. It's made to actually keep the aquarium water and aquariums fresh. Next, we'll add a layer of pebbles to help with drainage. And now we're ready to add our layer of potting soil. So you want a fast draining cactus and succulent potting soil. You can go to any garden center and find a bag there, or you can do your own mix at home. I have a DIY video on how I mix up my own cactus and succulent potting soil. So I will post a link to that video below. And now it's time to choose what succulent you want to plant up. And that's gonna depend on the requirements of that plant and your environment. So that's gonna vary from you know different climates and whatnot. But you wanna find one that is gonna do well indoors. Um, um, a lot of the echeverias that have the really pretty tight rosettes like these, they're gonna need a lot more sun. So if you can provide a lot more bright light and sunshine for them, then you can use those as well as cactus. Or if you have low light situations or a low light environment, then you can use different types of sedums, which can be really pretty. Or you can use haworthias. Those are also really good for indoor plants. And Haworthias are ideal for terrariums because they also stay rather small. So they're good in low light situations, they stay small, and there's a ton of varieties. But it's up to you which plant you want to choose, and then you can sort of just customize, you know, where you have it in your house so you make sure that it gets enough light or sun, whatever that plant's requirements are. So I let Michael choose which plant I was going to use in this terrarium, and he picked this miniature agave. This is Agave tumiana, and it's the variety Bella. So when it comes to repotting your succulent or cactus, you want to repot it when it's in dry soil, so not freshly watered. You want it to be dry soil that you're unpotting it from and you're potting it into dry soil. So that way you don't have any dampness because if any roots break while you're unpotting and repotting, it can end up getting uh, like root rot. So we don't want that. So just make sure to always go from dry soil to dry soil when repotting cactus or succulents. And then just add your soil around and go ahead and tamp it down you can use your hands or a tool if you want if you're dealing with a cactus or a pokey agave and now we're ready to add our layer of top dressing so that can be any decorative gravel or sand that you like i just go to either the pet store or walmart or something and i'll just grab like some aquarium gravel or aquarium sand um, i'm going to use this uh, lizard sand i call it but it's reptera and it's just a real white it's like super white sand i like doing white because i feel like it really makes the the green plants pop uh, so i'm just going to go ahead and take a little fan brush and just sort of help spread that around and then i like to add some different sort of you know accent pieces in there too so i'm using some natural gemstones and crystals so that was a piece of selenite that i set in the back there and then this is a quartz crystal so i'll set that run right on the side and then another piece of selenite which is natural stone um, it just has a really pretty like luminescent white kind of translucent look and then one small quartz cluster on the side
And now for our air plant terrarium, I'm going to use this footed glass container that I got at TJ Maxx. The beauty of air plants is that they don't require soil and you don't have to water them in the containers. So it's super easy to make an air plant terrarium. All you need to do is add your favorite decorative stones, pebbles, or sand. I'm just going to add this white Reptera sand and then grab your plant, put it in there and you're done. You can decorate it however you want, add whatever sort of accents you want. And that's all you have to do because you don't have to worry about adding the soil or any layers or anything like that since you won't be watering your plant in the container. And it's up to you however many plants you want to add. You can add just one or you can have multiples. I sort of like the look of single plants. I just feel like it has a really simple, sort of clean, elegant look. And now just add whatever sort of accent pieces you like. I'm going to use one of these engraved stones. I got these at the Tucson Gym Shows and they're just engraved with different sort of inspiring words and sort of quotes. So I'm just going to grab one of these. This is Enlightenment and I'll use this one in my air plant terrarium. I'll also add a quartz crystal because I love the look of crystals mixed with succulents or air plants. I just think that they complement each other so well. When it comes to watering your terrarium, give your succulents about a week before you give them any water. That way the roots have a chance to heal before giving them water. And so to water them, I like to use just a large syringe and it has a little nozzle on it so you can get right down at the very base of the plant and get that water exactly where they need it. You don't want to soak the whole pot, especially if it's an enclosed terrarium and there's no drainage holes. So you just want to give them a little bit of water at a time. And then for the air plant, these are really easy to water. You just pluck them right out of their terrarium and you can soak them for 20 minutes in a bowl of water and then turn them upside down so they can drain out. You don't want any water sitting in the crown because that can give them uh, rot. It'll make the crown rot. And then after they get a chance to dry, just place them back in their terrarium. All right guys, so those were just a couple of really easy ideas for terrariums. You can keep it super simple or you can add more like multiple plants into one. It totally depends on what your preference is. So, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.